Hangs out with Stolen TV, and we are on the Rockstar Energy Drain Inked Up World Tour in El Paso, Texas at the Texas Showdown Tattoo Convention. with Solon TV and I'm here with Oliver Peck. What is the longest you've ever taken on a tattoo session? Well, I mean, I've tattooed big tattoos in multiple sessions. I do eight hours. But in one sitting, how long have you set on one tattoo? Five hours, eight hours? Eight hours. Really? Yeah. How about on yourself? Have you set for yourself getting tattooed eight hours? Uh, a little more than eight hours. What's your longest session on yourself? Uh, about nine hours on my back piece. Did you guys know he has a full body suit? Kind of crazy. <laughs> Let me ask you, if a tattoo artist had no tattoos, would you get tattooed by him? No. I don't think it matters. If you're a good artist, if, you, if you're a good artist, it I think it's matters. Think it matters. matters. If you're a good artist, do a fucking painting. If you're a tattooer, you're a fucking tattooer. You think it's Into important for tattooers story. to be artists that paint? Should of you course. Do uh, people can do whatever they want. And tell me a little bit about the can art that you did for the Rockstar Energy Drink tour. Uh, yeah, I did a, I did it uh, like a Americana design with an eagle and a shield and some yellow roses. Uh, America, I'm from Texas. People are crazy in Texas. <laughs> big round of applause for the guy with the nail on his head. Go big or go home in Texas. Party till you die, apparently. <laughs> I'm here with Josh Hagan. Are you working? Is this all you started this this weekend, or did you start this before? Yeah, no, I started this this weekend. We started on like the inside, like right here. Went on the outside. Did all that yesterday, and then this was today. Do you do full sleeves often in one weekend sitting? You know what? I I have pulled it off from time to time. It's really hard to get that much work done. He's definitely gonna hate me for a few weeks after this. You know? It's gonna be hard to drive, my friends. And you're married to one of our Solon Angels, Leah. What's it like being married to a Solon Angel? Oh, it's awesome. Like, um, she's like hot and shit, you know? I, I, I like hot women. Well, just that one now, you know? <laughs> Good answer. And you are a self-taught artist. Do you think that it's important for artists to get apprenticeships or do you think it's easy for artists to be self-taught like yourself? No, I think apprenticeships are like the key, to be honest. Like. I wouldn't add so much failure early in my career if I had a mentor that actually like helped me out and like did what they're supposed to. But I just had a couple. I had a guy that kind of told me that he is going to help me. Really didn't, you know, and uh, kind of gave me a bad taste in my mouth. And and I just uh, I think it's really important for like dudes to actually like take the time and really teach people like they're supposed to. It's pretty serious. You know? Well, you are amazing. This looks beautiful. Thank Lucky you man. Much. Thanks for talking to us. I'm here with Christian Merrick, who is married to a sullen angel, Tessa Merrick. What's it like to have such a hot wife? It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. What are you working on right now? Uh, a bunch of candy. It's what? A bunch of candy. What's your favorite style of tattooing? New school and realism. Explain to everybody what new school style is. Um, you know what? Really sculpted, crazy bent lines. You know what I'm saying? Exaggerated points of view. Um, crazy colors. Something you don't see every day. I'll let you get back to your tattoo. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Lefty Cobert. What are you uh, working on right now? A uh, little neck photo realism piece. And I hear you won a lot of awards this weekend. What'd you win? I uh, won uh, best of day on Friday and uh, first and second place in medium black and gray portrait. Um, portrait of Sailor Jerry uh, when he was in the military and uh, that's one that took best day on Friday and uh, second place was a portrait of Gilmani and uh, first in uh, the black and gray was a portrait of Hanky Panky. Nice, those are both awesome dudes. Yeah, yeah a lot of fun. <laughs> and is black and gray your favorite style of tattooing? Uh, it's it's kind of what I've adapted to do a lot of. Um, I also do color realism, but I'm kind of getting known for black and gray. So. What's been the most valuable lesson that you learned in the industry? 
Oh, I'm learning them daily. Uh, I'm getting to work with great people, you know, like Josh Carlton, and uh, things are evolving so fast. I don't even know I can pinpoint one thing. Um, just today alone, I've changed the whole stroke in the way I do tattoos. So it's just really, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing things completely different as I did yesterday. So that's amazing. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Take it easy.